Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm buying my first diamond pack on Movie Star Planet 2, and then I'm gonna have a huge account makeover once I have the diamonds and the star coins. As you guys can see, if you didn't know already, nothing carries over from Movie Star Planet 1 except for your VIP status. So I have none of the fame from Movie Star Planet 1, none of the star coins or the diamonds. Obviously, they gave some star coins because they give you a bonus every day that you log in so that the people that are non-VIP actually can spend star coins if they keep logging in. It kind of gives you a reason to keep logging in so you can keep earning these star coins. But I want to be able to buy stuff that I actually like, not just stuff that is super cheap or stuff they give for free. Like most of the stuff in my house, everything they gave is free. This house is free if you have VIP, so everything's free. If you didn't see my video where I tell you guys all the updates on Movie Star Planet 2, now that it's starting to be more officially out, make sure to go and watch the video. I'm going to link it down below in the description. It's about all the updates on Movie Star Planet 1 and Movie Star Planet 2. But anyway, as I mentioned, I'm going to be buying a diamond pack. And this was not a planned video. This is kind of a bonus video to my channel and not something I was originally planning to do. But because everybody's doing the social distancing thing, I haven't been able to leave the house for a long time. Or at least it feels like a long time. I know it's only been a few weeks, but it feels like it's been months. And I don't even know when we're going to be able to go outside again, at least in the US. So I guess I'm going to be playing Movie Star Planet 2 a lot. And I do have a plan on making a video where I get to the high level on Movie Star Planet 2, which is level 20. So I decided that I'm going to actually take this game serious and actually try hard on this game because I have nothing else to do. So that's why I decided to buy this diamond pack. I know in past videos I've talked about wanting to and then I never actually did. But today I'm actually going to do it. But before I buy the diamond pack, make sure to like this video, subscribe and tap the bell. Also make sure to follow my Instagram, it's linked down below. All you have to do is follow before I get to 5,000 followers and you are entered to win Star VIP over on Instagram. Anyway, now I'm gonna go and get the diamond pack and then I'll be right back to start the makeover of the account. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what it looks like when you buy the diamond package. I don't know if you can change the colors, hopefully you can, I guess not. Okay, so it seems like you can't change the color of the items cause it just disappeared. So let's see if there's like a glitch on that. Normally if that happens with your items, you can always email Movie Star Planet and they'll help you get that fixed. So it didn't let me change the color of these items as you guys saw, it just kind of disappeared when I clicked to try to change the colors. If I really wanted to, I could email Movie Star Planet and try to get them switched, but I wasn't really buying this pack for the items because these aren't something that I'm gonna wear anyway. I don't really think this looks that good, honestly. So this is not the best theme. The only thing I might've changed is the hair, but honestly, I'm never gonna wear it with those like rabbit ears anyway. So I think this, it doesn't look terrible, but it's definitely not something I'm gonna wear anyway. Okay, so actually I think I'm about to level up and this person is helping me level up by sending me autographs. So thank you to this person. I'm gonna link their Twitter down below. Okay, so I already got to level four. So hopefully I get to level 20. I don't know if I mentioned it in the intro, but I'm trying to get to level 20 and I'm kind of going through the whole process. And then I'm gonna be posting a video of me like the road to level 20, which is the highest level you can get right now on Movie Star Planet 2. So if you wanna be in that video, just send me an autograph all you have to do is click this button and go to search on the US server search and search my username obviously blurns tiger and I should pop up yeah I'll pop up even for me so I should pop up for you and all you have to do is find this account click the profile and right here they'll say like send an autograph that's all you have to do and then I'll include your message where it says the autograph I'll include every single one that I get in the video. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually create my first outfit where I don't have any kind of restriction on what I'm buying because it's so annoying on this game where you have hardly any star coins. I know that this is something that people deal with all the time on Movie Star Planet 1 even, and I'm sorry that you have to go through that because I was really struggling to play Movie Star Planet 2 when I had to worry about what I was spending and not having enough star coins. Like there's no way I could play Movie Star Planet 1 or 2 and have to worry about star coins. Like I just, I think I'd lose all interest in it if I had to worry about that. So gladly now I don't have to really worry about that. So I'm gonna make the first outfit and it's pretty much gonna be all black. I'm gonna get these tattoos. I kinda don't like that it doesn't connect to the chest. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep it black obviously. And then I'm trying to find the outfit that I made before I started recording this cause I wanted to make sure that I actually wanted to get this. So I was kinda going through the outfits to make sure that it's something I wanted to do. And then I found, okay, this is definitely what I wanted. But I did find what I thought was gonna be my outfit for the first time. So I think I'm gonna do this too. So I'm gonna make this all black. And I think I'm gonna leave that white and then put this jacket on as well. And then this is going to be my first outfit. This is the one I had planned, but I'm probably going to do another one as well. And I might change the hair because I don't want to just keep the same hair. 
after spending the money on this i should definitely try to get some new hair as well okay so now i'm gonna just try to find a new tattoo because i hope there's one that's gonna connect right here so it's kind of like my movie star planet one character where it's covered in complete tattoos like all over Hopefully that is an option on this game. Okay, so I think this is the closest I'm gonna find to tattoos on the chest as well. So I'm gonna buy everything that I'm wearing right now and that'll be the first thing I buy. How much is this? 3,000. See, there's no way you could buy this without buying a diamond pack. There's like no way at all. As you guys can see, I'm earning fame as I buy it, but I think they made it where you can only earn 500 fame for buying stuff. Like you can't just keep buying stuff and earn fame for everything you buy. I'm pretty sure they patched that where like during the beta when it was only to select people you could earn unlimited fame like everything that you bought you earned a certain amount of fame but now they made it where it's a lot harder to level up because you don't earn fame for everything that you buy so this is the first look i honestly love how this looks and i've said it in previous videos as well i think i like the style of movie star planet 2 better than movie star planet 1 in terms of like how the characters look i think they look way better in this game than the other game i know some people don't like how real they look and I totally understand that. So not everybody's going to agree with me, but I think that they look so cool in this game. Wait, I need to see without the coat. I hope this just takes it off because, oh, see, the tattoos look really cool as well. So I'm going to get this, but I'm going to make it, I'm probably going to get all black. I need to at least do one thing that's not black because I think that would be boring if literally the whole video is me just a bunch of black, which wouldn't be shocking. If you watched my channel for a while, you know, literally I just wear black, but I'm going to try to mix it up with the next thing. And then we're going to move on to decorating my house and we're going to move on to buying all the animations. There's not that many animations, so I should be able to buy every single one. So I'm going to just really quickly make another look and I'll be right back. Okay. So it took me a long time and this is still like kind of black and white. But I did add some color to it. So this is the second look. Now I'm going to go and buy all the animations. And then we can go to the room and I can go and try to buy some furniture. I might not do the whole room, but I'm going to just go through and look at the furniture and see if there's anything I want to buy there. Okay, so now I'm going to change the animation. So I'm going to just get all of them. So this one, what kind of cringy dance is that? So I'm going to just get all of them. Hopefully I, well, I should have enough star coins. Hopefully I don't go under 100,000. That's my goal is to not go death drop. Okay, so hopefully no matter what I spend, I don't go under 100,000 star coins. That's the goal. So this is sit and wait. This one was chill. Now I'm going to go. Wait, do they add animations, the same ones that are from each theme, or is that not what they do? Okay, so this one is uncertain. I'm just going to fast forward through this, and you can read the name as I go. Okay, so now I own all the animations. Make sure to comment below which one's your favorite. So these are different emotions that you can feel. So basically, like, say I was walking around. If you're happy, you start skipping, and there's some other ones. So basically, you can be sad, and then you walk around like you're sad and angry. How many are there? So there aren't too many that are... Oh, wait, you can run, like, full sprint. Okay, this one's going to be really useful when you're trying to go through the chat rooms because sometimes the, these people walk so slow. So I think that one is actually going to be very useful. This one, I... I'm not really into anime, so I don't know much about, like, if this is, like, a famous run. So please comment below if this is, like, some kind of famous run. I actually like it. It's just I don't really know much about it. So now it's not impressed, so you're kind of just walking around angry, I guess. The next one is proud, so this one just looks like you're kind of stuck up. Okay, so I actually really like these emotions. They added way more emotions, and they actually look like it more than on Movie Star Planet 1 
where all you're doing is showing a facial expression. It's not really walking like it. Not saying that I like this better than Movie Star Planet 1, because I still think Movie Star Planet 1 is a better game than this, but I do think that this game is going to actually be successful once everything is out. So make sure to tell me which emotion is your favorite and which animation was your favorite of the ones that you saw. Some of them I didn't show if they're given to... <gasps> Okay, there is a spider that just came from the ceiling right in front of my face. I almost died. So we're gonna act like that didn't happen and like I didn't get scared. So I'm gonna be standing the rest of this because I'm not sitting in my chair because that's where it landed. Anyway, what I'm saying is there's emotions and animations. Make sure to comment which one is your favorite from both categories of what I showed, but some of them are free and I didn't show those. So yeah, just make sure to comment which one was your favorite. So I don't know if I'm gonna edit the room now. I'm gonna probably do that later on, but what you can add in is all this stuff. So originally you only get one of each. So everything here I got for free that you get once you choose your house. I don't know what you get if you choose a non-VIP house. I don't know if you get less than what I got or if you get the exact same. But these are the ones that I chose, and if you didn't see that video, again, make sure to go and watch where I talk about the updates for Movie Star Planet 1 and Movie Star Planet 2. But basically, after that, all you do is purchase separate chairs and couches and stuff like that. So if I wanted to purchase this table, I would just say 200. Pay 200 right there, I guess. Then you click on the table, and then you can place it wherever. So if I want a table in the room, I could place it there, or if I want another table right here. I don't know where I want this table, so I might just like delete it from the house right now. Is that possible? I'm not sure. Okay, so like I said, later on I'm going to go and decorate my house completely, but for now I'm going to just leave it like that with that one table. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited for Movie Star Planet 2. I think the game is starting to develop into a better game. I know it has a long way to go before people start switching over to Movie Star Planet 2, but I definitely think it's going to be a fun game to play when you're bored of Movie Star Planet 1. And it's going to be something you can alternate between. So make sure to try Movie Star Planet 2 if you haven't. I know there's not a ton to do, but make sure to go and try it if you haven't. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.